this section, we're going to be reviewing strings and how Ruby uses them and how we can use them in our programs. I'm back in the REPLit environment, and the main reason why I like doing the videos here is because you can see what output comes out uh, on the same page. Uh, I don't have to switch between the terminal and uh, Sublime Text, so that's a reason for that. Uh, but the first video is going to be short and sweet. I'm just going to talk about what a string is. And a string is a set of characters, and you can think of it, the easiest way to think of it is just normal text. So if I wanted to write the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, that would be a sentence, and this would need to be a string if we wanted to use it in a program at all. Uh, if I wanted to print this out and hit run, it's going to throw an error. It says syntax error, un unexpected end of input. And so we need to wrap this up in quotation marks, and that is how we set up a string. So now if we put that and hit run, now it returns a quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So that's what a string is. If I want to store this in a variable, then I can just do something like x equals this, and then print out x. Run and there you go, it prints this out. So that's what a string is. Uh, you can use either double co quotation marks or single. And in the next video, I'm going to show you the differences between using one or the other, and then also how we can integrate something called string interpolation. I'll see you then.